On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, who is the impostor with this Among Us Advent Calendar? Hey everyone, this is Dan. Thank you very much for joining in today as we continue the Advent Calendar month of December. We've already ripped through uh, Stickbot and Jurassic World and Sonic, and now we're jumping on over to the very sus Among Us. We've got the Airship Advent, and we also have an airship to place some of these characters in. Seems like this is a perfect combo match video to combine these sets together, but there's a mystery involved with this advent calendar as we try to find out who is the imposter inside. So 24 doors to open, place your bets, guess your characters, who is the imposter as we go along. Don't feel free to place what you think over here up on the side comments as this video is going to be a premiere video. So hey everybody, by the way, if you're watching, thanks for watching. It's over here, uh, just a premiere, not a live. So if you're watching this like five months later, you're like, what? There's a little premiere feed going off on the side here as we try to discover who was the imposter. So let's begin, find these doors and see what we can find. And don't forget, Squirrel Stampede's holiday train layout coming soon. Squirrel Stampede! Alright, before we get to the Among Us Airship Advent Calendar, let's get our Among Us Airship Airborne. I have been trying to segue this airship into something. It felt a little bit too easy to build on its own. We've got the mighty airship map with the unability to fly in the clouds, only pretend alike. And we have two Among Us crewmates included. The airship map playset available at Walmart with detachable top and insides compatible with all minifigures. Let's see this out of the box. And there we have our airship out of pack, ready for landing, flatly onto the table. So it's pretty basic, and that's why I kind of held off on this for a little while. It's just the airship and not much more else. It's kind of a playset, but it's kind of a carrying case and it's kind of a display option, but it doesn't really have much to engage with it. Visually, looks pretty cool. Looks just like the airship. A giant plane-like fuselage with drone-like fans on the side, brightly red color. We have a top hat sticker on the door and a half and half top hat figure, purple and steel top hat with mustache, and then a prison inmate with mohawk. I think that's a pink crewmate. The orange throws you off. Inside, we can lift up this fuselage. And I like how this solidly, solidly firmly attaches, making this a perfect little display case for your Among Us figurines. This might be actually the first Among Us playset diorama piece we've actually looked at official Among Us playset diorama playset thing. But other than that, pretty basic. It feels like it would be a perfect segue though to the airship advent calendar, as the airship theme seems pretty good together. And I believe inside this calendar there may be another airship to work with. Kind of an interesting calendar. We've got some doors on this side and a few doors on that side. So we have to figure out how to open this up. I believe it opens up even more. You can kind of see a seam down the center there. Let's try this one first. Or maybe this one. I don't want to spoil the characters, so I'm, maybe I shouldn't be opening these yet. Ah, the top. The top! Ah, the maps! So we have a map background on this side, but over on this side is where you really need to be to start opening up your doors. So let's just find door number one. Where, where could door number one be? Ah, there, right there, day one. And I think, you know, I may have cut too many pieces of tape. I want to kind of keep this together as a box for now. So let's tape this back together. Oops. That way it doesn't fold apart on me. And we can concentrate on the doors. What do we have in day one? I think the captain just fell out. We start with our airship captain, perfect for the playset piece, wearing a nice captain's hat flight uniform in a gray or black crewmate suit. This one without hands. I'm always thinking which do I prefer, hands or no hands? But a nicely detailed figurine to start us off if we can get him to stand. And it's so we can place our captain in the real airship captain spot. Now we look for day two. I think it's just below the captain here. This box, I have this feeling, is going to just get totally destroyed. What do we have in here? Some sort of mystery. 
So it feels like this advent calendar is themed to figure out who is the imposter. And we have our first clue set. So there's our captain. He's been awakened by possibly red-patched crewmate. And a question evolves as they run across deck and look at the map. And something's going on in electrical, maybe, as we've got other exclamation points headed out. And then uh, green crewmate shows up with a banana peel on its head. So uh, if anyone can figure out the story yet, there you go. The red, black, and green crewmate are together questioning something that may have happened. That's kind of a fun idea. What do we have in door number three then? As I accidentally open up 16 too. Oh no! I believe I've found some sort of crewmate cards or crewmate stickers. And more crewmate stickers. And even more crewmate stickers. These are just layered upon layered upon crewmate stickers. So who did we find and does this build the story we are working on? We've got orange crewmate with egg on head. And on the back it said, who is the impostor? Stick me on the box. So you can kind of place these on the box map. Orange with egg. Red eye patch. So we saw red at the beginning alerting the captain. And then we have blue with plunger. And all of these say the same thing. Who is the imposter? Then we've got pink with cheese hat. And green with banana hat, who had come into that first comic, didn't it? And finally we've got chef crewmate in white. So we really don't know who is impostering who yet. And I'm so usually not good at this style of puzzle. What's in box four? Our second crewmate, but this one is a stamper, I think. Okay, so it's red eye patch crewmate, and I believe this is a stamper. Let's see if we can take this pad off the base. And we can place red crewmate stamp on the table. Albeit a little clumsy, the stampers are actually pretty cool because you really don't have to worry about them falling over. That solid display stand will keep red up tall, whereas the captain, the captain may tip in turbulent weather. And door number five, so far everything is on the front. That is the smallest door we may have experienced in Advent season. Sonic had a few small doors, but this feels even smaller and very difficult to punch. Get a knife in there. Ah, our first accessory. It's a little pumpkin demon. Pumpkin demon? What is that? It's like a little alien. I've never seen that one before in toy form. Pretty tiny, pretty tiny little accessory piece. I'll try not to lose that. Door number six. Where is six? Have we finally exhausted the front side? I think we may have. Let's flip around to the other side. Watch out, pumpkin alien. Six. Right there on the leg of the captain. Uh-oh. We found a ghost. So a ghost has been found. A ghost stamper. But the same color scheme as the captain. Is the captain dead? What? Did somebody kill the captain? I'm really not sure how this goes. But I like the stampers again because of their ease of standing. And we've got a nice black crewmate stamp on the table. I, I hope those wash off. Looking for seven, looking for seven and more clues to this mystery. Ah, there we go, door number seven. Seems like these wide doors open up very well. Oh, a cyan plunger. Another stamper. You guys are totally gonna graffiti up my table today, aren't you? A cyan or maybe just light blue. Light blue crewmate with a plunger on head. Easy to grasp and spin on hand. Oh, you can barely make that one out. Very thin lined stamp with that one. You can hardly see the little blue crewmate print. Maybe need a little more ink on there. Okay, has anyone figured this out yet? I think we need more clues. That was seven, let's go to eight. Ah, eight. We may have more clues. Okay, so here is the airship crew. Everyone who is on the airship today, and I guess that does mean the captain is dead because this is the only black crewmate, and the captain up front was in black. So who knows who is yet to be killed here? 
and who is yet to be discovered as the imposter. And as for this, it's a really badly folded up and damaged sticker panel. Okay, so basically all we really know still is that the captain probably is dead, and maybe these guys are not the imposter. We have not really seen an imposter face yet, so that could be. Let's see what we got with nine. Another clue. So an emergency meeting has been called. What do we have? As we have crewmates running into the room, the captain is still alive now at the table. Uh, cyan blue crewmate behind him, red one coming in with the little alien pet. Uh, orange in the back with the egg and white crewmate there, chef and pink are coming in. So these two are coming in a little late. Uh, there's some glue over here on the chair. I don't know if that's gonna help you out in discovering uh, what is going on. So there's what's going on at the emergency meeting and uh, now they're just trying to figure out who done it. Anybody figure this out yet? Because I'm certainly a loss. Definitely the most clue-driven advent we've seen this year. That was uh, nine, now we're looking for 10. Door number 10 right here. Oh, it's a little blue puppy alien pet. That is super adorable, look at that. A little blue alien pet, same color as maybe sky blue. These little pets are so tiny, but cute. And do those really offer any clues into all of this? So that's 10, we're looking for 11. 11 may be back to the original front side. There's 11, this could be another clue set. It's a long panel. I am so destroying this box. It's not a clue sheet, but it's another crewmate revealed. We've got the white chef. I will say that these crewmates included are perfect for this airship playset toy we first opened. A captain and now a chef for the ship. That's so perfect. He's wearing a nice little coverall suit with a classic chef hat. Non stamper figure, so you're gonna have to be a little careful with him from falling over. I don't see any clues though that would say who is the imposter yet. So perfect to work on these sets together. You can go sit in the airship for a while there, buddy. Now we're looking for 12. Are we already halfway through this mystery? Door 12 will be found back on the flip side again. Way down in the bottom corner, possibly another pet. These small doors, usually pets or very tiny accessories. And sure we have it, a small UFO pet. I've seen many of these built in the knockoff construction builds. Nice little UFO build. Maybe that was what was flown across the table and knocked someone's head off. I don't know, hard to say. And with 12 opened, you know what that means. The Candy Cane Invasion Part 4. Sigh, it seems like forever's since the candy cane incident, says Landry. Poor Barry. Never forget, they were yummy. Now let's gaze at that Christmas tree out our window, says Landry. That doesn't look like a Christmas tree, replies Tiny. Smash! Attack! as candy canes bust through their window. Candy cane centurions, too many to eat. Oh no, as thousands of candy cane warriors flood the room. But a mysterious beam then appears. No wait, we are vanishing, says Landry, as the squirrels slowly disappear. Bye, Bye ham sandwich. sandwich. This can't be! We had them! Said the candy cane leader. To be continued. Oh, things are getting really odd now. Okay, 13. 13's just over here on this side. Could be another message, it could be a figurine. Let's discover... The 13th. Another message scroll. Dead body reported. Oh dear. And this is another very badly folded up sticker. It's shredded where the flame is. Look at it, it's peeling off the bottom and it's peeling up here at top. I don't think it was planned to have these so badly damaged. They just had to cram them into the doors which damaged the stickers. 
I swear, just looking for the doors is the real mystery here. 14 over here. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! So if you have been building quite the elaborate scenario that Green was the imposter, sadly no. Green with banana head, banana head topper is now been dead, defeated. Oh no! And according to this graphic, probably the second killed because there he was earlier with uh, the captain and red maybe. Um, any of these clues are helping. Refresh your memory. He wasn't really in the meeting when they did the, the emergency meeting. He didn't show up, which is really confusing me now. So take green off your list of imposters because green has been cut in half. Oh, the mystery deepens, the mystery deepens. 15, door 15 will help us. Ooh, possibly maybe more clues. Another clue sheet. Okay, so things are getting a little out of sequence, I think. In this little mini comic, the captain and his pet seem to be reminiscing about Green Crewmate with banana on his head. And then something from the vent. What's from the vent? The captain turns and looks and is questioned and then... Oh no through the reflection faceplate of another black crewmate, but possibly red underneath, as there's a red fiery pattern below, the captain is now dead. Ah! Does that make sense? The captain is now dead, but we see his demise in the faceplate of this crewmate, maybe, who is firing the fire. You can see the captain there with the fire hitting him. And maybe, maybe it's the red crewmate with eye patch now. That could be. Or am I reading that entirely wrong? Bringing back the list of crew, it could either be red, orange, or pink, I suppose. Red eye patch was there at the beginning, but may have just been kind of there to uh, trick. So hard to say as we continue on. What we do know for sure is this calendar is totally smashed up. Uh, 15, 16, yay, we get to the one that I almost accidentally opened earlier. More stickers. We've got crewmate, oh no. Cyan crewmate was ejected. Oh no. He was voted out. That is so sad. <gasps> Red crewmate was ejected with eye patch. So we were wrong on that one. <gasps> oh no, chef. Chef was ejected. That's awful. Everyone's getting ejected. And oh no, pink with cheese hat also ejected. And finally, orange. Orange was ejected with egg on head. What, is that the entire crew? In door number 16, big developments here. So who's left? I mean, we just killed off everyone, right? According to what just happened, the chef was ejected, the egg guy ejected, the cyan plunger ejected, eye patch was ejected, cheese hat was ejected, and we know green is dead, so what do we have left here? I am so confused. Well, that's 16. That was huge developments. Hopefully 17 will clear this up. There's Pink Cheese Head, who was ejected, but we still don't really know who of these was the imposter. I love this cheese hat, by the way. And I like this figurine. This is one of my favorites. Well, 18 shed some light. It's a small one. This may be another pet. Oh, it's tight is another pet. Oh, it's the captain's crewmate pet. The mini crewmate. These pet pieces are oh so, oh so tiny. I don't think you could even get this one to stand. It's so small. He's just gonna roll over on his back. But very cute. We know that belonged to the captain that was hanging out with him. What was that? I tore the number off. That was 18, 19 up here. Gosh, going flying. There's egg crewmate, orange with egg on head. Is that possibly even a clue? You could say that maybe like chef was like, oh, you're the imposter and threw an egg on his head just before he got killed and then this guy was like, <laughs> so I don't know. Am I reading too much into their costumes? Just maybe. 
Only four more doors left. We're going to 20. 20 possibly back over here. In the top we may have another pet. These are the hardest ones to open. Door number 20, come on. Oh, something just fell out. Tiny, tiny little robot pet. And it was made in China, right across this thing. It just says China. Little robot pet. These, these pets, these pets are so tiny. Except for maybe the UFO. Tiny, tiny little pets. Little robot piece. Door number 21 reveals another mini comic. Will this help us out? Door number 21 reveals another mini comic. Will this help us out? So somebody was in the security room um, watching Green in Electrical. Uh, there's green, and green with banana had the pet, the little puppy pet, eyeball pet. And then looking around some more, not finding anybody in those rooms. There's green with the puppy pet, and green is walking about. There is a vent behind him with a little sparkle, so that might be a clue. And we flip around here. Task completed by green, so yay for green banana, but... <laughs> Oh, and the puppy saw everything. Is that not the saddest puppy graphic you've ever seen? I mean, Futurama had a really sad puppy graphic, but that's a really sad puppy graphic. So not much help, right? Because we already knew Green was dead. We already knew this was the fate of Green. He got burned right across the chest and blown apart into pieces. So what does 22 say about that? Another green crewmate, that's funny. So the green crewmate with banana is represented twice. We actually have before he was taken out and uh, after he was taken out. <laughs> that's funny, it's kinda cool if you wanna replay this adventure. You'll want him complete. So two more doors, we can wrap this up. 23 over, um, over where? <laughs> yeah, this calendar's a mess. 23. Possibly another little mini comic before we go to the final door to see who did it. There we go, some sort of graphic. So we're getting really close to the reveal now. Start, start guessing who you think it is. I may just have to make this a live video because we're gonna be talking about it in the comments. So there, after everything we've discovered, and I really don't know much to tell you how to sum this up. We know green is dead. Green got took out. We're pretty sure the captain also got took out, as we have his ghost. I don't know if the pets are gonna tell you anything or the stamped patterns on my table. I still kind of believe the chef threw the egg at Orange here. I kind of feel like I'm gonna go with Orange as the imposter. But Red Eye Patch could also be very sus. Did I get that? Did I get everybody listed here? I think so, there's everybody on this map. One more time, look at the crew members. Look at the crew members closely. Who do you think it is? Who did it, who done it? Who is it? All right, we're going to door number 24. Okay, drum roll please. Door number 24. Create your own story. Who is the impostor? If we get like a Christmas tree and this makes no sense, then I don't know how we're gonna fix this one. Okay, door number 24 is... Hold your breath. Hold your breath. <gasps> I see red. And it is Red Eye Patch is the imposter. Wow, from the very beginning that was a challenge to figure out if any of the clues really helped us. I didn't want to say it was the eye patch because it seems so obvious the eye patch always kind of singles evil. I think the most conclusive evidence we had was the captain call out sheet. Uh, a little bit of a red star there on the vent indicating maybe it was a red character, which I don't believe has any uh, imbalance there. But then looking, when the captain looked and you can see the reflection, this character had a half red body here. And I know that's the fire pattern, but you know, you kind of got to go with that being possibly what uh, the captain saw before he was burned. These other clue call out sheets, you know, early on, there we go, early on, look at that. The uh, red guy was walking up to the captain and may have got him again at some point by running up and surprising him. So yeah, looking back at this, 
is possibly a reason that the red was the uh, sus imposter as he killed the captain in these scenes. He was next to both the captain and green who definitely perished. And the emergency meeting again, you know, red just sat there and didn't say much. Uh, just kind of probably uh, changed people's minds. But red always just kind of there, always there. So red the imposter, that's pretty fun. I like the little imposter red figurine. Definitely the most villainous in red with the teeth. It's very monstrous. So out of all of the crewmates to have the monster imposter look, gotta go with red. So well done. If you said red in the stream here, then you get bragging rights, I guess, bragging rights. This playset is perfect for all these accessories we just saw today. Where did the captain go before he became undead? There he is, there's the captain. He's got a chef here to prepare for the crew. Not sure about these guys, but they look highly sus in the airship. And then we can place our other characters at the emergency room table. Is Green gonna stand? Green is in a running stance. Huh, he stands. Cheesehead, plunger boy. Captain and Poster over here, getting our pets inside. But it's a perfect little carrying case. And this thing snaps on so tightly. This is so perfect. This is a great little display holder. I have no worry about this popping open and then falling out. So take with you anywhere, play with you anywhere. Perfect little end piece. That was the Among Us Advent Calendar. And that's the Among Us Advent Calendar, the most sus, mysterious advent yet. More advents on the way, like the National Geographic, Minecraft, and I think I even have a Roblox Advent Calendar to add to the list. Lots of doors to still be opened this month. If you like this video today, please give us a squake, or a like, or a subscribe, or a squirrel -ibe. And a squamant, a comment, your favorite uh, advent or Among Us character today. Thank you so much for watching, that's what I have to say about that. Oh, and thank you for the live feed today over on the side. Thank you everybody for joining in, guessing which character. That was a lot of fun to do today because of the mystery involved with this advent. <laughs> so thank you everybody for joining in on this premiere day. Alright, see you next time.